What is going on everybody? How you guys doing? My name is JX Higgs and I want to welcome you guys back to another video on the channel. Today we got a detailed look on these Jordans right here that I picked up today. I don't understand how these were sitting, but they were. I mean, if you could tell from the box, you already know what these are. But I picked these up, no problem. Like, I just went into the store and just got them. But, that being said, we're going to go ahead and check these out. Not going to say too much about these you guys should already know what this is these came out on the 18th and take the camera okay see that light work there you go all right So these are the Air Jordan 1, well the women's Air Jordan 1 High OG Satin Breads. Um, to put this into context, the reason why I picked these up is because it's just a bread colorway. I'm going to be honest, this sneaker got a couple flaws to it that I didn't like at all. Um, and like I said, it was just a bread, another bread colorway, so I decided to pick these up. But when I got these in hand, I was like, well, there's a lot of, that's just a lot of things I don't like. So we'll get into that in a second. But um, at first, when these first uh, were shown, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a really good shoe. This is going to be something I'm, that's going to be worth copying. And I was excited for it. The camera a little more up. There you go. So, uh, yeah, I thought these were going to be a really good shoe to cop. But eventually, when I got them in hand, I understood the reason why these were sitting in stores. And I told myself I was not going to get these because I got too many bare colorway sneakers. But I picked them up anyway because of the satin material. That's literally it. But um, for the $180 price point, I'm not too mad about it because it does come with accessories and stuff that usually Jordan 1s don't come with for $180, which is okay to me. Like, for example, when it comes to the laces, they got metal tabs, which I always appreciate. It comes with the red laces, which have the metal tabs, as you can see right there. Right? And it comes with the actual bag that I just seen there. But to get into the shoe itself, we always start off with the bottoms. You got a red um, outsole, just like any other red colorway or any other red colorway that comes in a Jordan 1 low, high, mid, whatever. Midsole is clearly chalk white as usual. When you get to the upper, there's no explaining it further. This is all complete satin. Even the tongue is satin, everything. Um, One thing to keep in mind about this Jordan 1, though, is the Nike swoosh. It's like, it's stitched, but it's kind of weirdly stitched. Like, you don't notice the stitching at all because it's made out of satin. So, it's kind of got like this knit type of, I don't even know how to explain it, but you cannot see no, what you gonna call it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's got like that, that real, real rigid feeling to it that feels weird. But, yeah, one thing I really don't like about this shoe is this. This right here. Reason being is because it's been very inconsistent with shoes. I went through three of these to see which pair was better. And this happened to be the best one, which still didn't come out right. Um, the Air Jordan logo right there. But at the same time, it is like like knit. So I don't got nothing else to really say about that. Um, one thing I really don't like about the shoe either is the, the shape of the neck or the collar or whatever you want to call it. It's like slanted down like a Jordan 1 mid, which I really don't like about that. Like, it looks weird to me. Like, it looks like a fake sneaker. Like, you see how imbalanced that is? It just doesn't look right. You feel what I'm saying? So. Oh, another thing. These crease really quick. Like, I haven't even tried these on or anything. I just got these out the box. And you can see that crease right there. Like, that lumpy dump right there. Another thing to keep in mind about these is when you wear these, the first step you're going to take, you're already going to notice a crease. Like, that's just what it is. Even on this pair, it's not, like, bad, bad, but you can still feel, like, a crease right there. And for this pair, it actually looks different compared to the pair that I have on this side. Like, I don't know if you can tell. The collar. The Nike, uh, the, the Air Jordan logo. 
the swoosh looks the same and all that but there's just a couple of differences on each side of the shoe and i promise you guys this is a retail shoe like there's no reason you should be getting a fake pair of these unless you can't afford 180 dollars if you could afford 180 dollars you could put these up in the store no problem like this isn't something that you don't need to buy fakes for if they're saying, you feel what I'm saying? Like I said, there's people who can't afford $180, which is understandable. So if you want to go for the, you know, rep option, all means I don't discriminate. I do not discriminate of, of rep shoes. I've been through them, so I don't mind. But that being said, I'm a little bit disappointed with the shoe. This shoe was $3,000 and it was limited. And for the materials that it has on this release right here, which is pretty much the same as that one, it's not worth $3,000. For me, it's not even worth $180. The only reason why it would be worth $180 is because of the actual um, accessories that it comes with and the laces and all that. That's what makes it $180. Besides that, another disappointing factor with the shoe is that it only comes in women's sizes. You know what I'm saying? So the people who actually really wanted these, which are men with big feet most of the time, they can't get these unless they go with the rep option, honestly. So that's another thing. Um... I don't know how I'm going to be wearing these or when I'm going to be wearing these, but they're definitely not going to be anytime soon until I really figure out how, like, I'm going to protect these or buy some crease protectors or something because this is a nice shoe, but at the same time, I don't want to mess it up. Oh, and another thing is that you're really going to be sweating in these because there's no perforated holes. It's just a satin, a whole satin material, so you want to wear, like, some type of socks that you're going to have some breathability in. Um, And then the quality control on these is a little bit bad itself. Like here, glue stains. Y'all can see that. What else? I know there's another glue stain around here. Let me see if I get off the camera real quick. Yeah, right here. And this is a retail pair, man. This isn't a rep pair or anything. This is retail. But yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed in the shoe. The shoe looks nice because of the material, but the material is what makes it bad, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, yeah. Like, if this shoe didn't have, like, a no If this shoe had a number stamp, everybody would be on top of these. But just because it doesn't have a number stamp and it's a women's colorway, nobody wants to get these. You know what I'm saying? But, in my opinion, yes, if you like these, go ahead and buy them. I don't think it's a bad shoe. I just think the, the, the material is what makes it bad, in my opinion. If they were to bring out leather... Jordan 1 bread as a re-release, everybody would be on top of those because leather, no matter how many times you wear them, is going to be all right. This material looks good for about 30 seconds and you mess it up real quick. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below on these Air Jordan 1 uh, bread satins. Um, honestly, this is like a 5 or 6 out of 10. This isn't something that's too crazy. Like I said, I picked it up because it's just another bread colorway. It's nothing, you know, too exciting about are too crazy about but yeah this is jx kicks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys later peace